How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today let's take a look at the Puma Surface shoes. And before we start, I have to talk about why I changed the language from my native language to English. It's mainly because recently I was checking the YouTube analytics and I saw that most of our viewers or most of our audiences are from outside my region. So by changing the language to English, I hope I can help more viewers. So please comment it down if you like the transition from my native language to English. And of course we are continuing this series based on your support. So the best way to show us the support is by dropping a like. And now let's see a clip of unboxing of the shoe and we will share the first impressions. So let's go. When it comes to the designing of the shoes, this looks dope. Starting from the big Puma branding on the outside and the Puma signature strip on the other side. Likewise, in every single way, you can see these shoes feels a little expensive. On the front side, we have a rice lip, which will give us more comfort when we are doing most of the toe exercises. And also there is a Puma logo. And my favorite part of the shoe is the shining upper part. Here, whenever the sunlight or any light hits on that net-like material, it reflects off the lights. And because of that, it appears to be shiny and the way they implemented it is so good that it never feels like a gimmick or childish and also puma definitely kept a lot of details in the designing for example you can see the stitching is only quarter way on the puma strip and on the back side there is a big red component which have the branding of cell face other than that the build finish and the quality of the product is also excellent especially when it comes to the build finishing most of the shoes even if we take the expensive ones we can see the glue between the upper material and the sole part and that feels unprofessional but that is not the case in these shoes there are no such exposing glues or any irregularities in the overall production quality in most of our first impressions we at least test the shoes for like one or two weeks to give you the best information about the durability and we test it harshly because it is a short period of time in throughout the testing of these shoes, there were not any major issues or flaws in the overall durability. After bending these shoes like 3 or 4 times, we can see creasing on the lower sole part. And it is normal in the case of most of the shoes because after bending, surely you can see some kind of creasing here and there on the sole part. Except some of the shoes with the hard sole types which have some kind of etching or designings on them. But here this is a soft sole part as it is a running shoe and also you have to keep one thing in mind. After a long period of usage, probably these shoes is going to crease up. Now let's talk about the comfort of the shoes. These shoes are branded in the soft foam plus series of the Puma, which is basically a series provided by Puma solely focusing on the comfort of the shoes. And here it is a very comfortable shoes, but the issue is they use a spongy type of bed material where we rest our foot. So probably after a long period of usage, the sponge effect can reduce and the comfort will also reduce. That is the only concern here. Other than that, there is no any irregularities or flaws in the inner designing which will cause any pain. So it is a very comfortable shoes. And then another interesting thing is that whenever you increase the intensity of your workout, the shoes get more comfortable. I think this is where the Puma self-face technology comes into play. So for example, if you're walking, it will be in the normal comfort. And when you increase the intensity of the workout, like if you are going to run, then the shoes will give off a little bit more comfort. So it is also a very good feature if you are using the shoes for running other than casual use. And now, to give you an idea of the grip and the performance of these shoes on treadmill, let's take a look at the treadmill test. In the test, as you can see, it gave off a good amount of grip and also, like I said before, the comfort was increasing whenever I tried to increase the intensity of the workout. Let's talk about some miscellaneous information and my final opinions. This pair of shoes costs 6499 on the official Puma store and if you are going for an online purchase, you can probably get it below 2700 in Flipkart or Amazon. And I will leave the link in the description if you have to check it out. So for the price below 2700, I will definitely recommend these Puma self-face shoes. Here Puma definitely nailed it in the build finishing and comfort. 
so i won't say it is a bad purchase for the price below 2700 and probably these shoes will last you a good amount of time and if you have any questions related to the product comment it down below and that's it guys thank you very much for watching drop a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe to our channel for more lifestyle and tech updates and once again thank you very much for watching have a great day